We got a new beta this week, iOS 18 beta 6. So in this update, we got a few new features. One, all right, so let's go to the control center. And as you notice, I like my shortcut that I created to turn my Bluetooth on and off. Uh, my Bluetooth actually completely turns Bluetooth off. My Wi-Fi shortcut can turns Wi-Fi completely turned off. So turns it back on uh, like I need it. Apple added another Bluetooth feature. So we're going to look for Bluetooth. So we're joining in. So as you see, turn on this Bluetooth, turns the Bluetooth on. But when you turn it off, it don't completely turn the Bluetooth off. Yes, it turns it off, but it doesn't turn it shut it down where it's able to come back on uh, depending on apps that use Bluetooth. So if you like that, that's you have this option. But if you don't, you can create this shortcut like I have. Or if you want, let me know down in the comments and I'll send you over these shortcuts I created like my Bluetooth, the Wi-Fi, and the 4G, 5G toggle. I created that one on shortcuts. Um, so now we're going to talk about wallpapers. So we go to add a wallpaper. We're on this wallpaper. Now in iOS 18 beta 6, when we customize, when we go to customize the icons uh, to a specific color, so say for instance I want to do tenant. Take it out of dark mode. Um, I'm going to just go back to dark mode because I like this wallpaper with the dark mode icons. So go back and I go back and I go and change my wallpaper and go to a different wallpaper that I have set up with some other icons instead of the dark mode icons. I don't have to keep changing it and I'll show you for what I mean. So see, this one is set to tenant. So now I can use the tenant icons without having to keep changing them back and forth depending on what wallpaper I use. Like if I'm changing up wallpapers daily or weekly, uh, these, once you set them up, they're already there. Hopefully Apple keeps this and they don't, and this is not a glitch. I hope this is something we actually get to keep. And it also would be nice if we could change, like they gave us a color picker. If they gave us another another color picker slider, where we can change each individual icon. I know that's asking for a little much, but not really. I mean, it's it's it's, it's available on other Android phones. You know, Androids, iPhone. Just say it like this. Apple is copying Android. Android is copying iPhone. So say, for instance, I wanted to, I wanted to change it on my Z Fold. So as you see, I have a color palette right here. So I have a, I have a special place that I go for that. Go to Good Lock. And I'm going to go to Dean Park. So we have something like a theme park on the iPhone now, but and see you can create a new one. Use current wallpaper, say done, next. So then you can change whatever you want on here to fit whatever you want. And now we you can choose background, on background, service, on service. So and once I hit check. Say download, enter the name, uh, say blue. So now we got a blue one. So I can hit apply. So it's changing the settings for inside the whole phone. 
So when I go back, see, it changed it. Now, as far as the theming of the icons, you would have to go to themes, go to my icon packs that I have. We're going to try something different. Go to icon. And as you notice, I can change them, the actual icons this way too. They still kind of have the one UI look on, like I said, on some of them. It don't change them, but it doesn't change it completely. Apply. Seeing if I kind of puts that little glow around there, but not all icons are supported. Like only like the Samsung icons are supported. Some some of the other ones are supported, but not all of them. So you get the idea what I'm saying. Uh, it looks pretty nice. So open it up. Icons still stay the same. Stay stays the one UI. So as you see, it's not full customization on Android quite yet. Yeah, you can download some icon packs and change it through some launches, but looks like looks like iPhone is doing a little bit better than Android right now. So. Like I said, iPhone is doing it a little better than Android. So we're going to go in, go back to this one. And as you see, they actually changed on dark mode. That's pretty cool. All right, so if y'all enjoyed this video, uh, leave me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new here. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.